it was 1944, they had already invaded France and uh, lost a lot of men. So they put uh, all of us on a boat and put us right over in the, into France and supplied uh, more men for the companies that were over there fighting. And I happened to get into the Third Army under General Patton. Patton called us in one day, the whole regiment around there, and stood up on the platform and gave us a speech. He went back and forth on that platform with his six shooters, you know, hanging out. And he says, we're going to wipe those Germans out. We're going to do it right now, and we're going to push them. We will not let them stop. And that's exactly what he did. After a few uh, days of that, I was uh, a seasoned soldier. That changes your whole outlook in life after that. seat I was in and then they hit the other two Jeeps and the man on a 50 caliber machine gun had already started firing and of course they shot him and he fell off the Jeep. I returned some fire for a couple of seconds but it got so hot that I jumped out of the Jeep and, and got in a ditch. The only thing is I got in the ditch on the wrong side of the road. I was on the same side the Germans were on and I was I was there, so I played dead, and I could hear the Germans talk, and they were up real close to me. I could hear them talking, and uh, finally some uh, tanks come down the road with American troops, and of course they released me, rescued me, and uh, I laid there for about seven or eight hours in that ditch, uh, playing dead. Germans would have known I wasn't, they probably would have made it so. 